Hello guys, in today's video, we're gonna check out the best Fujifilm lenses in this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I've tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability, and many more. To find out more information about these Fujifilm lenses, you can check out the description below. If you want to get a best quality Fujifilm lens according to your needs, then watch the video till the end, and then decide to buy. At the first position of our list, we have Fujifilm XF14 F 2.8R. Landscape and architecture lovers will find the Fujifilm XF14 F 2.8R lens a wonderful addition to their kit. Fujifilm lenses with the R designation have an aperture control ring allowing you to make aperture adjustments on the lens as well as from the camera body. At a fixed 14 focal length, this prime lens has a wide angle field of view. The 1.5x crop factor of Fujifilm's X-Series sensors means the field of view of the 14F-2.8 is equivalent to 21 on a full-frame sensor. Because of this, the lens is great for landscape, architecture, indoors, group shots, and more. The fast maximum aperture of F-2.8 also means rapid shutter and autofocus speeds are achievable even in low-light situations. Sharpness and resolution are maximized from the center to the periphery with no loss at the edges of the frame. At 52 pounds, the lens is also extremely lightweight and comfortable to handle. The Fujifilm XF4 beam also has molded aperture blades designed to enhance bulk at the wider aperture settings. It's a great enhancement is a great bonus but may not come into play all that frequently since you will usually shoot with smaller apertures. Moving on to the next and number two with Fujifilm X F23 MF 2R WR. The Fujifilm X F23 MF 2R WR is a rugged version of the 23 F 1.4R at half the price. The F 2R WR is a strong challenger. Although the aperture is not as wide, F 2 is still a great aperture for portrait and event photography. It also allows for good performance in challenging lighting conditions. The weather sealing of the F 2 RWR helps ensure the elements don't penetrate, making it an excellent lens for nature and landscape photographers. This added protection allows normal operation down to 14F 10C. Although the field of view of the XF16 F 1.4 RWR is perfect for landscape lovers, the 23 in view of this lens is a 35M equivalent on a full frame sensor. 35M is closest to the view of the human eye making the XF23 F-2 a more versatile outdoor lens for scenes beyond nature. The glass of this lens does not have the layered high transmittance electron beam coating of the 23 F-1.4 R, nor does it have the Nano GI layer of the 16 F-1.4 WR. Overall, the 23 F-2 R WR is a weather-sealed middle ground lens but has slightly less image sharpness and clarity compared to its higher priced siblings. If you're looking for your first and expensive, but high quality lens that can be used in many scenarios, consider getting this one. The number three position is held by Fujifilm XF 35M F 1.4R. The Fujifilm XF 35M F 1.4R is a fantastic prime lens for portrait photographers. The boat created with the seven rounded aperture blades and F 1.4 are incredibly attractive. The focal length of this lens paired with the APS-C sized sensor is equivalent to 50M on a 35M sensor or film. 50M is a very versatile field of view to work with. Being very close to the field of view of the human eye, 50M works well for portraits, nature, and event photographers. But you can easily use it as your travel slash walk around lens. It's also useful for close, indoor sports where you very close to your subject. The 11 layer Super EBC Electron beam coating eliminates light flares off of lens surfaces by allowing 99.8% of incoming light to enter the camera. It also improves sharpness and color corrects the transmission spectrum of the glass so that all color wavelengths are transmitted equally. The 35MF 1.4R also has an aperture ring with 1 3 of a stop adjustments for precision aperture control. Weighing in at 6.6 Oz, 0.41 pounds, the lens is incredibly light. It competes fairly well with the XF23 F 1.4R, but its newer and uses a high transmittance EBC coating that also provides scratch resistance to the surface of the glass. Being a 35 equivalent, 
The field of view is even better suited for the generalist photographer, but the 20 frame f 1.4 are cost nearly twice as much. Ensuring the 35mm f 1.4 R remains a good choice for the budget-minded. Next at number 4 we have Fujifilm XF 35mm f 2 RWR. The Fujifilm XF 35mm f 2 RWR is suited for photographers who want a versatile focal length prime lens that can be used in all weather conditions. Being a WR lens the 35mm f 2 is weather resistant, making it a great choice for outdoor photographers. Light rain and dust won't penetrate any of the eight seals on the lens body. The lens will also operate normally in temperatures as low as 14F, 10C. 35M is equivalent to a 15 field of view using the APS-C sensors of the X-Series cameras. And 15 works very well for a wide variety of subjects, including portraits, nature, and event shots. It's also the most recommended prime for traveling at Fujifilm's blog. While F-2 is not as fast as F-1.4, it still allows in plenty of light for low-light shoots. The depth of field will be shallowed this setting and will create excellent bokeh using 9 aperture blades. This lens also has an inner autofocus system combined with a stepping motor for whisper quiet focusing and a response time as fast as 0.8 seconds. The glass is very high quality and includes a nano GI gradient index coating. This layer changes the refractive index between the glass and surrounding air. In doing so, ghosting and flares from incidental lighting are reduced or eliminated entirely. The number 5 position is held by Fujifilm XF 50 f 2 rwr The Fujifilm XF 50 f 2 rwr is a great lens if you want an all-around high-quality lens and don't want to be concerned with water or dust affecting it. Using the APS-C size sensors of the X-Series cameras, the Fujifilm 50 is equivalent to a 76 prime lens using a full-frame field of view. 76 is squarely in portrait territory. The features of subjects won't suffer from distortion, and enough of the scene shows up without taking away from the main subject. This lens also has enough reach to be useful for candid street photographers who want to capture a subject without being too obtrusive. Nature photographers will also find this focal length fairly useful, though shy subjects may require a bit more reach. F-2 is a fast aperture, but if you want an even shallower depth of field, you should look at the bigger and heavier XF F-1.2 R, which has a 56 focal length. The 50 F-2 R WR is almost identical to the 35 F-2 R WR, but is slightly more expensive as it's two years newer. Instead of a nano GI layer, the 50 F-2 uses a super electron beam coating. Both approaches have the same effect, control over ghosting and flare for improved image quality. This is another great first lens due to its high quality and low price combo. The number 6 position is dominated by Fujifilm XF56 F-1.2 R. The Fujifilm XF56 F-1.2 R is our most recommended portrait lens, well suited for bulk rich photos from a slight distance. The focal length of this lens combined with the fast aperture makes it one of the best portrait lenses available. With the APS-C sized sensor of the Fujifilm cameras, the focal length is equivalent to 85M on a full-frame sensor. 85M creates a great separation between the subject and background of an image. It does also mean that some room to move is needed since this is telephoto territory. The 56 f 1.2 r has an 11-layer high-transmission electron beam coating, HDEBC applied to both the front surface and a single layer on the opposite side. The HDEBC helps stop chromatic aberrations and flare from incidental lighting. It also provides strong scratch resistance to the lens. F-1.2 is very wide and allows for beautiful images and fast autofocus responses even in low light settings. The depth of field will be incredibly shallow as needed for maximum composition options. As in our lens, it also has an aperture ring on the barrel to control the aperture as well. Aperture and bulk are further enhanced with the seven rounded aperture blades. Fujifilm cameras with a lens modulation optimizer. LMO feature can partner with this lens to ensure sharpness and exposure are properly consistent throughout the aperture range. THXF56 1.2 is one of the more expensive ones on this list, yet is truly incomparably good. The focal length, features, and aperture are all top notch. The only omission is no weather sealing but that would make it even more expensive. 
Moving on to the next at number 7 with Fujifilm X F1024F-4 ROIS. The Fujifilm X F1024F-4 ROIS is a zoom lens well suited for architecture and street photographers who want a wide angle field of view. This range is also great for landscape photographers who need the expansive view. OIS stands for Optical Image Stabilization. The F-4R has built-in elements to help control motion blur due to handshake. This allows photographers to shoot handheld without sacrificing sharpness. With a minimum focusing distance of 9.5 in 24cm, this lens works well as a macro photography lens. And with the wide-angle field of view, the surroundings of the main subject will also be in full view. But with a maximum aperture of f/4, you won't really be creating bulk-filled images. The 1024m f/4 R also has a high transmittance electron beam coating, HDBC to moderate lens flare and ghosting. The result is a boost in contrast and in a reduction in chromatic aberration. The layer also protects against scratches. Lastly, this lens can pair with Fujifilm cameras that have a lens modulation optimizer. LMO setting to ensure exposure and sharpness remain consistent across the entire frame. As a zoom lens, it's not directly comparable to the 14 or 16 lenses listed here. For photographers who want a shallower depth of field, the prime lenses are the obvious choice. But if you prefer scenes that need greater depth of field, then this lens provides a wider range of focal lengths without sacrificing image quality, plus giving you more zoom to work with. The number 8 position is held by Fujifilm XF1855 F-2.84 RLMOIS. The Fujifilm 1855 F-2.84 RLMOIS is very similar in design to the 1655 F-2.8 but lacks several key features that help bring the price down. This lens does not have weather resistance, so it needs to be protected in rough environmental conditions. Also, the lens stops down to f/4 maximum at the telephoto end. This means you will only get bulk and shallower depths of field at the wide angle end, which may not be all that useful. The focal length range is equivalent to 2784 full frame lens, which is an incredibly versatile wide angle telephoto range. That makes it great for everything from portraits to architecture. Overall, it's a great street photography lens. Plus at a 68 pounds, 10.88 Oz, this lens weighs half as much as the 1655 f/2.8. The built-in OIS optical image stabilization helps keep image blur from becoming an issue while shooting handheld. With up to four stops of IS, you can shoot at 1/30 where you'd have to shoot with 1/500, assuming your subject is still. Lastly, the Nano GI. Gradient index coating of the glass alters the refractive index between the lens glass and the air. The result is less ghosting and flare from incidental lighting. Next at number 9, we have Fujifilm X F18 135M F-3.5 5.6 RLMOISWR. The Fujifilm X F18 135M F-3.5 5.6 RLMOISWR, an extremely versatile lens meant to cover a wide variety of subjects. Everything from landscapes and architecture to portraits and wildlife are all possible with this lens. Using the APS-C sized sensors for the X-Series cameras, the focal range is equivalent to a versatile 27-206mm on a full-frame body. The aperture is not very fast. However, which is typical of zoom lenses in order to cut cost. F-3.5 won't give away for thin depth of field no matter the focal length. But the trade-off is incredible versatility and captures in all weather conditions. Shooting handheld with this lens is a pleasure even at 135mm. The lens combines the linear motor LM design with optical image stabilization, OIS elements to create powerful motion blur compensation. Five stops of image stabilization help keep photos sharp even when shooting handheld in low light settings. As a WR, with a resistant lens, the XF18 135M has 20 seals to prevent dust and moisture from penetrating the interior of the lens. The lens can even operate in temperatures as low as 14F, 10C making this a great choice for nature photographers who won't let snow and rain keep them from getting the best shots. The glass of this lens is coated with a high transmittance electron beam coating. HDBC to reduce ghosting, lens flare, and chromatic aberrations. Image sharpness and contrast remain optimized. Also, the coating provides extra scratch protection. 
Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Fujifilm X-F5100 Fordham F-2.8R slash LMOIS WR. The Fujifilm X-F5100 Fordham F-2.8R slash LMOIS WR is quite pricey but well worth the expense. The barrel is weatherized in 20 places to provide constant protection from dust and water splashes. The lens will operate normally even in conditions as cold as 14F, 10C, 8 fibs. Normally even in some conditions or temperature, due to its big F-2.8 aperture across the entire focal range, it's a perfect choice for outdoors and indoor sports, as well as zoos, pets, and animals in the nature that aren't too far away. F-2.8 allows you to get nice sharp subjects and blurred backgrounds with beautiful looking bulk. Thanks to seven rounded aperture blades, at long focal length shooting without a tripod can cause loss of sharpness. Fortunately, the 5100 Fordham F-2.8 is stabilized via an optical image stabilization, a YS system that negates motion blur in images. The body also has a tripod mount on the barrel for even more image stabilization as needed as well as an aperture ring for precision aperture control. Mounted on any Fujifilm APS-C model, the lens has a full-frame equivalent focal length of 76 240. This makes it a solid zoom meant to bring far off subjects into crisp focus and isolate them from the background. Portrait, street, and wildlife lovers will get a lot of use out of this focal range, notably the 55 200F slash 3.5 4.8, which we talk about below, has an even better focal range for half the cost. However, you do lose out on the constant F slash 2.8 aperture across the range and the barrel tripod mount. The Fuji 5100 Fordham is weather sealed as well, making it more appropriate for photographing in difficult weather conditions. If range is all you want, the F 3.5 4.8 will serve just as well, but the F 2.8 is well worth the additional money, especially if you know you will photograph in difficult light situations. That's all for today. We upload camera and camera accessories review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.